trematodes. <coughs> the most common clinically relevant trematodes are blood flukes, Schistosoma mansoni, Chaponicum, and Hematobium, the liver fluke, Clonorchis sinensis, and the lung fluke, Paragonema swestemani. For the schistosomiasis or biliasiasis. The blood fluke, also known as the schistosoma, have different geographical distributions. S. hematobium is prevalent in Africa, Mansoni in Africa and America, Japonicum in the Far East. Approximately 250 million people are affected and 600 are at risk of schistosomiasis. We'll start with the morphology. The adult worms are 10 to 20 millimeters long with the male having an unusual lameliform shape with marginal folds forming a canal in which the slender female worm resides. Unlike other trematodes, the schistosomes have separate sexes. Life cycle. First you see the eggs. They hatch releasing the myracidia. The myracidia penetrates the snail tissue and after two generations of replication, a fork-tailed saccharia emerges into the water. The saccharia penetrates the skin and loses their tail to become a schistosomule. It then enters circulation, travels through venous circulation to the heart and lungs, and migrates into portal system to the liver where they mature into adults. In about three weeks, they mature and reach the mesentery or bladder vessels where they live and ovulate for a duration of the host's life. The eggs germinate as they pass through the vessel wall into the intestine or bladder and are excreted in the feces or urine. For the signs and symptoms, transient dermatitis, also known as the swimmer's itch, diarrhea, ascites, splenomegaly, lymphadenopathy, granulomatous lesions leading to hematuria, urethral occlusion, polyp formation which will lead to dysentery. Here are some images. For the CNS you can get headaches, disorientation, amnesia and coma. For the heart, they can produce arteriolitis and fibrosis resulting in enlargement and failure of the right ventricle. Diagnosis is according to the morphology of the eggs. The S. hematobium eggs in urine are seen to have an apical spine or knob. The S. mansoni eggs in the feces have a spine on the side. The S. japonicum eggs in the feces are round with a vague spine on the side as well. For the treatment and prevention, Prozequintel is effective against all three species and there is no vaccine available. Contaminated water should be avoided and sanitary disposal of sewage and destruction of snails are also good preventative measures. Next, we'll look at the Clinorchis sinensis. And here's the morphology. For the Clinorchis adult, you can see it stained with carmine or hematoxylin. Epidemiology. The fluke liver is common in China and European cats and dogs are seen to be carriers. Life cycle. Embryonated eggs pass in feces. The eggs are then ingested by the snails. And these free swimming circaria insist in the skin or the flesh of freshwater fish. The metasaccharia in the flesh or skin of the freshwater fish are then ingested by humans. The saccharia are free swimming form of parasites which then enable the second immediate host to be infected. They insist in the duodenum and mature into adults. These adults exist and then migrate to the bile duct. 
symptoms. You get the bile duct, the bile duct dilating and deviation, liver necrosis and is tender, weakness and loss of weight, anemia, edema, ascites and diarrhea. Diagnosis. The eggs in the feces or the duodenal aspiration are the techniques used. Treatment and control. Proziquantel is the drug of choice. Adequate cooking of fish and proper disposal of human waste are the preventative measures put in place. Paragonema swestemani. Starting with epidemiology, I see. It's actually found in Asia, Africa, and South America. Morphology. It is a plump reddish brown oval worm measuring 10 by 4 millimeters. Life cycle. The lung fluke infects man and other domestic carnivores when the crab meat is infest injected with the insisted metasaccharia is consumed. The metasaccharia reach the small intestine, exit their shell, and bore their way as lung young flukes through the intestinal wall, through the thoracic diaphragm, and penetrating the lung. There they become enclosed in one by two centimeter cysts and reach maturity. The eggs are found in the sputum, or if swallowed in the feces, two to three months after infection. The eggs, when introduced in fresh water, produce a myricidia, which penetrates the suitable snail. In the snail, they develop into sarcaria, which break out into the water and penetrate the gills, muscles, or viscera of freshwater crabs and become insisted in flesh as metasarcaria. Signs and symptoms. The fluke provokes the development of a fibrous tissue capsule with bloody, purulent material containing eggs. There is inflammatory infiltrate around the capsule. The symptoms include a dry cough followed by production of blood-stained rusty brown sputum. Pulmonary pain and pleurisy may develop. Worms may migrate to the brain where they lay eggs and cause a granulomatous abscess resulting in symptoms similar to epilepsy. Diagnosis. The diagnosis is based on the patient's history and the symptoms being exhibited. The eggs are found in rust-colored sputum, often being examined for tuberculosis. Treatment and control. Prosequintel taken orally is quite effective. Adequate cooking of crustaceans is a preventative measure and improved sanitation conditions have been seen to lower the infection rate in endemic areas. Thanks guys for listening. Salamat po. Created using Powtoon.